this style of doing it is going to be I think is the easiest one. And now there's multiple ways that I have multiple ways to show you, but the way I'm going to show us this is to break our characters apart right now into upper arm, lower arm, hand, uh, a body, possibly a hips, upper leg, lower leg, and a foot. So we'll break those all into separate pieces. So in animate, when you do that, um, it won't show up here. We need to have, each of these elements on their own separate layer to be able to animate them. So have I shown you this guy before? I think I might have in other classes. Anybody remember seeing this I little guy? I don't think so. Okay, so this is um, kind of what we're gonna do for our, our final project. We're gonna do a series of different dances that we're gonna put together and um, with our character animating. So I'm going to hit this play on this just for a second. So is that's one dance move. That's another dance move. So these are what we call cycles. That's a, a third dance move. <laughs> and back into the, the one we saw first. So with your assignment, you're gonna do three different dance moves and kind of sync them together into something. Um, so you got one, two, that's a, let's say that's a one. Back into that. And then a little bit of a, a pause, goodbye. And then, all right. So this character, is broken up into different pieces. So I'm gonna go inside the character so we know about nested animation. So I'm gonna to go to my selection tool here. And if I double click on the character, um, dances all that layer is not locked. So that's, so right now that layer is all this and it's broken into a couple different dances. So these are all the dances together on this layer. Now, if I go inside of it by double clicking on this, then I have um, the different dances. So I have dance one, dance two, dance three, dance four, the cross step dance. That was when we walked back and forth. So then this is what we call the start pose, a little bit of an idle cycle that he just, well, that one's he's just staying still. This is more of an idle cycle. He's just relaxing. Scrolling down the timeline, and then this is that um, this dance, dance two, it's labeled. Dance three is up and down like this. So each of these are what we call animated symbols. So they're graphic symbols that we use to do this, as opposed to movie clip symbols. And the difference when we started working with animate, we have um, movie clips symbols and we got graphic symbols. We'll use movie clip symbols when we're doing more interactive animations. So if we're doing things that click on something and it takes us there. The movie clip symbols work best in the interactive world. When we're creating something that we're going to export as a video, a movie, something that maybe we'll put out on TV or we're going to put up on YouTube or share it that way as MP4, then we'll work with graphic symbols and graphic symbols can have um, frames inside of them just as a movie clip does. Uh, but graphic symbols work that we need to have all the frames inside the movie clip or inside the, the symbol um, stretched out and we need to show them up on the, on the timeline here also. Whereas movie clips, you can have one frame and it could play a whole movie clip and that's interactive animation. But video animation, so as a overall thinking about it, if you're thinking if you can put something that's gonna go out in a video, it's gonna go on TV, YouTube, that type of MP4 video, think of using graphic um, symbols and look at the movie clips mostly for um, interactive. All right, so I have these dance cycles, so let me just, and then jumps back and forth to different dance cycles, but I'll, I'll pull up this one right now. 
So I'm on, on dance two here. And this is the full dance cycle. So it's up and down and all the movement. So if I double click on this, and now I come into all the body parts. So as I zoom up, I have a head, arm upper left, hand left, arm lower left, a body, arm upper right, hand right, arm lower right. So this, these three layers make up his right arm. Leg upper right, shoe right, leg lower right. And they're layered like this, depending on how I want them to appear on the screen. So the layer order does matter. So how they appear there. And then they got the um, leg left and then the hips. This character has a little hip area that are, are things. So how everything is layered does matter. So you see that it is broken apart. In looking at this, so I have the head, move the head over here for a second, and then I have these hands. So this would be, um, when you, and when you label your character and you start breaking them apart, do it to what it is, the character's hand. So this is on our left side, but it is the character's right hand. So that's the character's right hand. This is the character's right arm lower. That's the lower arm, the forearm. You know, you could, I just use lower and upper for the arms. This is the right arm upper. And on the left side, we have our left hand. Left arm lower, the body. And it's, it's nice to uh, connect the neck to the body. That's one less thing you have to move around. I mean, you could get more complex and have a moving neck and have an upper torso, lower torso. That gets a little more complicated. So as you can see, it's complicated as it is. So we have the right foot, right leg. Oh, that's upper leg. And sometimes if you can't grab it when you're moving it to do it, you can always look for, that's going to be my right leg. Right leg lower. I can always click. On, on the frame here, use my arrow keys to move it. So sometimes it's hard to grab it when you're in, I could always zoom in to make it a little easier. So as you're doing it. So you see this character has all these different body parts that make it up. Started off as a single drawing. So I'll, I'm gonna show us how we break it apart and, and make it into these different body parts. So you did the model sheet as a single drawing but when we're, after we start working with it, we do want to break it apart into these separate elements. That's, that's the goal with that. So he blows up. So, yeah, that's what we want to do. So how do we go about doing that? That's with this one character. And that's going to be, I'll show you the other way later, but that's going to be the basic way of doing it. So I have, which character that I'm looking at? This BMX kid rigged one. I'm seeing if I can work with this. I'm trying to find a character that 